And what I'm seeing is a lot of people are believing everything they hear. But I want you to share this word with you. Don't tell nobody I told you this, but share this when you get home. Faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Amen? So a lot of things we hear sometimes, amen, we begin to, uh, uh, we begin to move on what you heard, amen? amen. So be careful that it's got to be the word of God. So be careful when it's being born in your ear gates. Because I found out I tried it. When you try to hear the world perspective and the word of God perspective, you, you get tossed to and fro, amen? Yeah. Yeah. Seems like you're coming back in the 90s, you want to break things. You don't know which way to go. Amen? So guess what? When the enemy comes at you, you get tossed. Yeah. You don't know which way to go. I ain't talking about what they doing in that land of swaying things. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about swinging side to side. Because guess what? You get tossed to and fro. So you don't know, should I believe the world perspective or should I believe the word of God? Amen? But the Bible says we are in this world. But don't believe that you know, we don't have to act upon what the world is doing. Now, God will send you worthy people. I hear you in the audience to be a blessing to you and me in our lives. Yeah. Use that. Give that to your advantage. But also remember, always plant a seed in, in their life. Yeah. Yeah. Might not be financial. Yeah. I just wrote a few things when I was back then. If you are in Christ, remember, He's also in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. That is moving in the right direction when you got Christ in you. People are running so much game. I'm just starting off like this. So much manipulation. You, if you don't believe anything, then I'm going to tell you, you stand on the word of God. Because that's the only thing that allow you to remain and get to where you need to be. Amen? Just remember that. When you in tune and you gave your life to Christ, guess what? You got to do some more things. But guess what? You'll be in his family. And guess what? He has to take care of you. Amen? Christ Jesus. Powerful. I, I'm just sharing this right here before I even get started. And the last one is this right here. Everybody wants to be one up. Everybody wants to be one up. From this day, when you leave today, I want you to listen to what I say. But everybody's always going to say something to outdo what you say that God gives you. Come on, come on, come on. So don't spend too much energy on that. Because when you don't need the energy for God to, to, to be a blessing to somebody, you so poor out. And what the world told you, you ain't got enough energy to restore that, and that person back up. Amen? Amen. Everybody wants to be one up. I don't care what neighborhood you live in, they're going to talk that. I don't care what kind of car you drive, they're going to talk that. I don't care what church you go to, they're going to talk that. I don't care what daycare your kids go to, they're going to talk that. I don't care what college your son go to, they're going to talk that. Don't spend too much energy on that. Okay, now. All right, now. Think about what I said earlier. Faith come by hearing. Is that faith? Come on. That's nonsense. But the enemy allow you to get tangled in that so you don't hear the word of God. You spend time trying to figure out how am I gonna be there? How am I gonna suppress that situation? How am I gonna eliminate them with the word of God? Amen. Oh, you don't really get started with the word, Brother Jerry. You don't really get started with the word today. First scripture I want you to go to is James 5 and 16. Amen. Real quick. I won't even blow your ears up like that, but I'm going to say what the Lord wants me to say today. Amen? Real quick, fast in a hurry. James 5 and 16. Help me out. Confess your faults one to another and pray for another that you may be healed. And watch that last part. The effectual further prayer of a righteous man avail as much. But watch what the message says. Make this a common practice. Confess your sins to each other. Here we go. More than one. And pray for each other so that you can live together whole and healed. Here we go. The prayer of a person living right with God is something powerful to be reckoned with. What is he saying? When you're in Christ and you're a prayer warrior, come on, you 
used to be a force to be reckoned with. Amen. Just I always tell y'all, take a look at a man or a woman of God who's serving the Lord and watch what comes out of their mouths most of the time. I'm talking about this diligently seeking him. I'm talking about those that are serving the Lord. I'm talking about those that in the fivefold operate in Genesis to Revelation to believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross. They have a whole different unique, a whole different type of anointing, a whole different type of power. They'll leave something on you to go back home and think about it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to go to another scripture. Romans, I'm going to tell you what it's about. Romans 12. And 15. We don't get there. We ain't gonna be out to bring in the tape. That's the best part of it. That means everything I'm talking about. If it ain't God, it's gonna be cleansed. Amen. We talk about a fresh start, a new beginning. Amen. 2024. You add all the numbers up, that means eight. Amen. So that means no beginning. Here we go. Romans 12 and 15. Rejoice with them. And do please rejoice. And weep with them. And weep. What that means. When your brother and sister get blessed, celebrate with them. When they weep, go to the churches with them. Come on. God said he didn't let them just stand for the seven times when he gets back up. Amen. He says, we can make it good. Come on, sis. Come on, brother. For a night. But guess what? Joy will come in the morning. Stand on the scripture. Don't just say it, but leave it and act it out. And watch what God does. And the time. Today, everybody want a title. Everybody got a title. But let me tell you something about a title. Let me tell you something about a title. Sometimes people get a title and they hurt people. Amen. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. Because they don't know the power they have. You abuse your power. And you can destroy people because you think you got the power. But you don't have to learn it, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have the power. Look around where you serve and where you fellowship and where you work at. People are being promoted and put in power, but they don't have no experience. They don't have no identity. So everybody in the job is frustrated. Frustrated. But the title today I want to talk about is We Need a Battle Buddy. I'm going to break it down to you. Like pre-k style. We need a battle brother. And you, and you know what that means? I'm going to tell you what the word battle means. I'm going to read it out to you. Then I'm going to break it down. Amen. Praise the Lord. The word battle means to sustain. It means to fight between. It means conflict. It means struggle. It means spiritual warfare. You can't do nothing if you don't have the word of God. You cannot be my battle buddy if you don't know how to endure these things right here. I'm going to break it down all the way. Okay? That's good. That's battle. Watch what brother means. Buddy means a close friend. A close friend. I didn't say loose lips. I said a close friend. I'm talking about a close friend. We need a battle buddy. Oh, I got this group. We're going to hear that too. We're going to hear that too. Watch this right here. Guess what? Don't let people fool you. We need a battle buddy. Watch this. We need a battle buddy to accomplish God's purpose for our lives. Why? Because two is better than one. Two is better than one. Why I mean that a battle buddy? Everywhere you go, you need to have somebody with you. And I'm going to raise it myself, you know why? Because it, it causes me to be accountable. And guess what? This is my glasses. If I left it there and I left my battle buddy on the cup, you ought to catch that. He's going to be my battle buddy. If I'm looking crazy and sideways, my battle buddy ought to catch that. Something wrong with him or her. Amen. So guess what? When that happens, you can get to what? You can get to pray and restore your battle buddy up. But I want a battle buddy that can fight with me from tough times. I want a battle buddy that's meekness, how he corrects, or, or allowing me to just sort of go to my next place. A battle buddy will look at you, show you guys you're wrong. What we'll talk about? You're wrong. What we'll talk about? What you mean I'm wrong? The word of God says it. Don't look down on the brother unless you're going to lift him up. We need a battle buddy. Watch this right here. 
Watch this. I needed my battle buddy this morning to get me here. All right, all right. You think my wife is just my wife by title? She is my helpmate. When my tie is crooked, when my face looks so ashy, when I smell like this, when I look like this, or when I'm quoting the scripture wrong, and when I'm doing something wrong, my power buddy said, Baby, let me check you out. Come on. Gotta put the pride to the side. Amen? Amen. You gotta put the pride to the side. That's why a battle buddy, listen to that, I'm getting ahead of myself. God always sent people out to so work too. In case one get destroyed, somebody can bring the word back. What happened on the rock? Why did it get accomplished? Yes, sir. Preach, yes, sir. Accountable. This whole is accountable. Not man that he or she is more than you. You gotta have the right spirits, though. You gotta have the right spirits. And I don't mean correct them every time they do something wrong. You gotta have the battle buddy. That's all I'm saying. I put you this. Battle buddies is with you all the time in the spirit realm. That's what I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta be able to catch your battle buddy. They start talking crazy. You're like, what? What's wrong with you? That's great, man. You're not even sounding like yourself. Who hindered you? You were serving well. You was running well for Jesus. What stopped you from serving the Lord? And then when I pass. You know why? Because they didn't have a good battle buddy. Come on! Oh. Oh, Everywhere we go, we get a battle buddy. Battle buddy is just being accountable to someone. God will put you with people that don't that can accomplish what you can do. God will put you with people that, that can allow you to grow and get you to your next place. You know when he or she is hating on you, he'll move them. He'll move them out your life in love. God is about progressing, y'all. God is about moving. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Everywhere that he goes, you want that light to shine. You don't even got to say nothing. What come out of your mouth, how you carry yourself. Go ahead, man. You good, you're first. Go ahead, you good, you're fine. Go ahead. They know you got to be a man of God. Usually that don't happen. People stick me the bird, I wave at her. But my helpmate, sometimes she waves at her. <laughs> On what you think it is when they cut you off while they drive. They mind on spring break, where we going? You know what I'm saying? They mind on what we don't have the money to take the kids. Where we going? Hey, you got a buddy. Hey, calm down. Calm down. You ain't that sick, is man. Some people going home with their family. And guess what? We mad, angry, blood pressure at 200 over 20. You need a battle buddy to calm you down. Oh, Lord, watch this right here. A battle buddy will keep you and be accountable. I keep saying that word for our own actions. If they don't, then they're not your battle buddy. Then they're not your battle buddy. Watch this right here. Here we go. This is a smart group right here. Let me talk to the smart people. I know not many people say, my spouse is my battle buddy. That's fine. Even that can be redefined. Sometimes we get so smart that God put the two together and then she's my battle buddy. That is correct. But sometimes God will get other married couples to where you got to leave no deal for a season. So what they know. Find a wise, mature, married couple. Don't even matter. Guess what? Think about it. If I go tell something bad when my friend told me, what you think God going to do? Can't trust them. He need two battle buddies. Hey, listen, y'all. What does it matter? People know your business. Some of you do have businesses. That's fine. What are what they going to do with it? I don't care how much the church made today. What are they going to do with that? What are they going to do with it? That's the church money. What are they going to do with it? I better pray and celebrate with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better get y'all a battle, buddy. Y'all better get y'all a battle, buddy. That's all right. That's all right. 
That's all right. I put this right here. Listen to this. A person without the battle buddy is a person that know it all. Here we go. I call them L-I-D. That means they lost in the desert. They're unaccounted for. A person that don't want you to tell them what to do, watch them. Mark them. I don't want nobody to know business. Man, when you come through these doors, I can just put my eyes on you. The Lord gave me this word called discernment. Go ahead. Go ahead. And my job is to pray. They don't know who's right today. And they ain't going to talk to me down there. That's what's going on. Put them over the back of them. I'll tell you, that's something going on. I'll tell you right now. I call them lost to the desert. Some people think they know so much. That's fine. And guess what I call them people? Unaccountable. They don't want nobody to keep account of them. But somebody has to hold me and you accountable. Oh, God oh, nah, does. Yes, he does. But this is a very vessel as well. Think about it, y'all. The church can't even grow. We can't grow as I to my others. How you gonna grow? You gonna teach yourself? This ain't the 19th to 1800s. This ain't the 20th century. You gotta lean on some people. You gotta ask for help. You gotta, you gotta ask people to find you somebody that can help you through this thing. Amen? Oh, man. I'm sorry. Battle buddy will allow us to be honest with ourselves. See, a real battle buddy gonna tell you, you're too, you, you're too arrogant. Come on. You're too puffed up, man. You think you're too much. You're so sad, man. You know very good. You tell me about everybody else. What about your son? Oh, that's not a God. Oh, that ain't God either. What your wife said this morning is not what's what no God either. God have a power brother like that. Like 24 hours, you're going to know if they got a finger or not. So that means you're going to see the Lord. Send me another battle buddy, Jesus Christ. Send me another battle buddy to help me on this journey. He don't send him. He don't send him because his mind is on other things. Your mind on the things of God and to the power of my family and those up and around me. I'm giving you everything I got, my experience and everything in the world. What good is going to profit me to hold all this information in? Come on. I'm going to just be an impregnant red word. And you see, I don't miss too many meals, so stop looking at me like that. So that's double. I have a battle buddy, all right? Yeah, this is this all right. When you experience the warfare, immediately, immediately call your battle buddy. Now, if God tell you to go through it for yourself, go through it by yourself, that's fine. Go through it. But immediately call some power. Because if it's too big, guess what? I'm going to call for some more power. Amen. Amen. All right. Reinforce it. Because guess what? We want to eliminate the threat before it gets too big. You know how a person they back on their rim and they walking like they're all cool? They ain't got no battle buddy and tell them, hey man, it's Rick before Gucci. It's car payment before Louis Vuitton. It's charge of power before you're talking about getting your son in. That's a good battle buddy to tell you that. But hey man, it's to be a blessing. It's to strengthen us, huh? Now watch this. I ain't going to get ahead of myself. You're going to be alone one day. What I mean by that is, you're going to move that battle buddy one day to see if you have grown. To see if you're growing. So you can you walk by yourself. He still want two to walk together unless they be in agreement. That's right. But he want to see can you go by yourself. <laughs> see, that battle buddy's going to strengthen us up and keep us accountable. Amen? All right. Watch this right here. Even when you need encouragement, encourage them. Call them up. Don't be afraid. Fear not. Let them talk. They go on doing too. They just trying to suck it up. They trying to hold it in. Because guess what? It took me a long time to figure this out. It's nothing new under the sun. I used to say, why they say that? What I'm saying is somebody will experience it. Somebody will have done it. I ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't never heard of that scripture today. 
but it's, it's the deliverance. How you deliver yeah. the word. Yeah. And so yeah. last week, your mind and your posture wasn't here. Amen? Amen. Your mind was still waiting for the breakthrough of the new year coming through. Amen? Amen. Oh, amen. Got to have a bow, brother, to tell you some of these things. Amen? Amen. Word of God. Even in family drama, marriage, marriage challenges, we need someone to walk with. Family drama. My sister just made me so mad. Every time we go to mama's house, she always talks about that debris she achieved in two years. It took me four. I got a bachelor just like she did, but she did hers in two. She did hers like in speed. So she thinks she's so smarter than me. And mama came to him. And look, a friend, he's standing in here, he's 41 years old. What's wrong, man? Oh, man, they make me so sick. I'm so tired of them. Now, they ain't that serious. Don't worry about it. Just pray about it. Watch what God does. He'll silence them. He'll make them repent unto you. Repent unto him first. Amen? Even manage your problem. I'm telling you, go talk to people. The Lord will show you some people. And guess what I believe? If you can't talk to nobody in here, you ain't going to talk to nobody out there. You're so prideful. You don't want them to know that you know we know already. And why would I give you some words of encouragement or experience to bring you down? Because guess what? That's more work for me and the leaders. That's more work for us. So then we got to keep our eye on you. A sign of a battle buddy ASAP, please. Come on, come on, come on. Even when you travel, call somebody. Let them know. Y'all see what's going on. Yes. Hey, I'm out here going to Atlanta right now. I'll be back. I'll let you know when I'm back on my way back. And I'll arrive in that land. Don't think I'm wrong. I can do what I'm going to do. Yes, you can. Come on, come on. Yes, you can. But having a battle buddy makes it a battle. Something happened. Hey, ride with me. Oh, I'm 
our military soldiers, or my nieces to serve here, or I'm connected to this brother right here. Come on, sir. I had to put some work in. Okay. I had to put some time in. Right. And think about this, now, brother. You don't want to come before nobody if you're not prepared. Yes. No. No. I'm not saying you're going to do it always right, but when you prepare, you can fight better. You can pray better. You can see better. You can hear better. And you feel better. That's why they say dress the part and you feel good about yourself. But look how long it took you to walk like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. The world says, watch this right here, this is powerful. The world says leaning on other people is weak. No, you know they said, you're a weak girl. My mama taught me this. My daddy taught me this. You're so weak. I don't know where she come from. But that's the wrong answer. It's a part of God's plan. To pray together, to touch and agree, and his promises of his word. But I'm going to come back to you. Scripture says to lean not to thy own understanding, but you got to acknowledge him in all his way. He's going to break your path. What do I mean by that? People think that leaning on other people make you weak. It don't make you weak, it makes you strong. That's why I said that the strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak. Amen? Until you can get back up, we're going to put you with a strong battle buddy. Amen? You ain't always been like this. I know the song say I woke up like this, but you ain't woke up like this. It's all a process. So you can come up here one day and tell the people, look, God put somebody in my life to sustain me, to allow me to grow, to be an ambassador, to minister to people. Don't even look at their faces and stand flat-footed and know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for each and every one of us. The church ain't got to say amen, but that's all right. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you something. I must have missed something, big bride. I'm going to come back to it, my brother. Let me tell you something. Don't be deceived, y'all. The world will have you fooled. And telling you that it's weak, like I was saying, to lean on people. And the world always teaches to be independent. To be independent. Yeah, he wants you to be independent. Absolutely. But God will put you with people, I'm telling you. To grow you and to be able to get you where you need to go. I don't know nobody who's successful got there on their own. I don't even care if you came up with an idea. Somebody had to publish that idea. Somebody had to make some corrections on that idea. Somebody had to publish that idea. Somebody had to make that idea go forward and come back. And then rewrote and then send it back out again and again, over and over. Come on. Good yeah. battle, brother. Tell you, don't be weary, brother. Good yeah. girl. You gonna read what I mean by that? That that vision that him or her had, it kept rejecting it, turning it down. Yeah. But eventually, God made it strong through all that opposition. Amen. Yeah. A good strong battle, brother. Man, don't give up. God's got you. It's more for you than against you. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, write the vision down. Whatever. And make it plain. It's a book says that. Like I read it one day, Rebecca too. He said, write it down. Make it plain and it's going to come with that. Boy, I tell you, I like it though. I like it. I love it. I like it. I love it. I like it. You watch this right here. Get ready to close it, y'all. It's safer to walk with a battle buddy. I know unless y'all looking at some uh, Apple Plus allegedly. Y'all looking at a different news channel than I'm looking at what's going on in America. Amen? It's safer to walk with somebody. Yes. Hey, watch out. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Step, watch your step. Hey, don't answer that phone. That's a distraction right now. You need to go to church. Who's that calling you? Come on. Come on. Don't let nobody distract you. Uh -huh. And it's so awesome. And y'all don't throw your Bibles at me. How we put so much time and effort in the movie stars that we don't even put it in the king. Amen, the man that created you. Mm. I always tell my grandson, I said, look the part, dress the part. You might not even know how to clean a bed, don't know what to look up or what to throw you on. As look, at least look presentable, man. Before you go in there, let us know, okay, it's going to happen. Just do what they tell you to do. Be respectful, come 
when they clean, cut, and guess what? Listen, learn, watch. Find your battle brother that the Lord said, guess what? You can trust him. Because he's going to tell you what it, what it takes to get to the next place. Amen? Amen. It's supportive to have a battle buddy. It's supportive. It supports you. You know what I'm saying? When you stand by yourself, you got a battle buddy. You hold you up when you fall down. And then you just like, get up. Back up. Amen. Don't lean to the left. Don't look to the front. Lean to the right. Look on to the hill, my brother. Which all your help comes from. And all your help comes from what? Jesus Christ. The author and the finisher of your faith. There's no other way to go unless you go with Jesus Christ. Because if you do, With your gifts and talents. That's the smart people. Okay. Tell them, I'm telling them about battle buddies, but they're telling me when I go see Jesus to enter in the kingdom, he's going to say, what have you done with your gifts and talents? And if you've done nothing, he's going to tell you, depart from me. I'm going to do like tucking with my tail in, going behind this wall. But God will put you with people for your life and people around you. Trust them. Trust them with the small things. You don't know because God, you're going to know if they're against you. Don't trust me, Mark. Give it up ASAP. That ain't your battle buddy, baby. It's wiser to walk with a battle buddy. More wisdom. You got people always know more than you. I don't care. I don't care if you know more than me. Good. Fine. I love the scriptures that each joint supply. That's what it's about. You help me buy a car. I help you get the furniture. You help me with the degree. And guess what? You help me pay the way that the Lord wants me to go. God has all kinds of people in this atmosphere. I can just look. Just look down the road. Mary is here. Mary and I are in delivering animals, selling homes, know about how to bury a person, teachers, after that, for business, around and around we go. That's enough for you to work with. And what they say, like more and more, like another word, et cetera, et cetera. Like another word, they just give you just a little bit so we don't pull off the long bio. Uh, just a few things we just gonna give you. We don't wanna give you the whole bio, amen? Oh, still gotta have a battle, buddy. Watch this right here, we're gonna be really close. The Holy Spirit is your battle, buddy. The Holy Spirit need to guide you. That's why it's very important. Go to y'all Holy Ghost field. Saved. Amen. Romans 10 and 9. Confess with your mouth. Believe that Jesus died on the cross. Amen. And you saved. He has, just remember this. Jesus got your left. He got your right. He got your front. He got your six o'clock. And guess what? I put it right here. He also has air support. And when air support comes, you know what that means? The target is destroyed. Eliminated. Now you can go and do what I'm calling you to do. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, it was like, oh, you looking at me on my side. On, on my left side. Ten thousand. Woo! Ten thousand on my right. Come on. You don't say nothing, though. The last scripture is saying, is saying this. To have a battle buddy we can trust and wise in the Lord. Why is it so important to have a battle buddy? That is someone who is paired with you for safety and support. It's very, very crucial. It's very, very important to have a battle buddy. And I'm sharing that with you because some of us are not strong enough to go where the Lord wants us to be. All right, all right. See, by you telling us about your weakness, he wants you to share with someone. That's why he said, confess your sins one to another. I have them too, but I can't tell you all of mine because you're going to leave. But I'll do a time and offer and communion. But when you're strong enough, I'm going to say, I think it's time. That's what it's all about. Let me share about the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me and my household. Amen? I ain't always been like this. It's all a process. Everything you do is a testimony. Everything you do. Mine may not be like yours. Yours may not be like mine. But don't 
Don't let the world confuse you or distract you. Let me tell you about God's word. It's something you got to be consistent in. You got to bathe in it. You got to shower in it. You got to drown proof in it. You got to speak it when you just walk it. You got to talk. You be grateful. Come on. You got to be faithful at all times. Don't despise the small beginning. Amen. Even when people are looking down on you, talking bad about you, still love them in spite of. Because that's what the Lord said. Man, you didn't endure the course. It's time to put you up before the people. Why is that? Because he didn't trust you. But you better go back and thank your battle, buddy. Now, I know this song said, Had it not been for the Lord, I ain't gonna sit on my side. <laughs> See, but you gotta go back and thank him that he gave you a battle, buddy, for this journey. Amen? And I'm gonna share this last thing with you. I went to listen to a, a gentleman speak the other day. And that's what I thought I was going to minister about when the Lord, when I got the call from the senior pastor of Abundant Life. And her full name is Dr. Alvin. So soon as she told me I need you to minister, I said, wow. Wow. Where's my battle buddy? You know what I'm saying? Pray for me now. So I told my wife, I'm like, she for real? I'm for real, not for false. That's for real. <laughs> So, I said, man, when I'm a minister, it's all right, I'm to take care of you. All right, appreciate it. I appreciate it. I was going to thank you. But it is a privilege, man. It is an honor to talk before people and share about the goodness of Jesus. But the word that came on me was to be, to be, I got to get it, to be engaged. To be engaged. And I was like, wow. Speaking about being engaged. See, that, that, when that came to me, I was like, that's like faith without word. You gotta be engaged in the Lord. <laughs> you gotta be engaged reading this word. You gotta be engaged to be ready to minister to the, the people. You gotta be engaged to be a blessing to people. God didn't just give you all this stuff to say, look at me. All the toys, remember, the babies, the car vents, the nine bedrooms, the jewelry, everything that he gave you. Show the people that who's not saved. Amen. But tell them, had it not been for the Lord, I wouldn't have been where I am today. Ooh. See, that is a tool God used to pull them in. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, if you bring them in, I'm going to fill them up with the word of God. Then you go back and get some more people. Use those tools. It's not bragging. It's not boasting. Guess what? God gave it to you for a reason. He can entrust you. Amen? And share that with your, your friends. Share that with them. Just remember that. It don't matter if they know. Be wise about certain things. It doesn't matter. It's to build your faith up. But I just want to thank each and every one of you this morning for being tentative and to be here, be proactive, and to come and listen to the word. And here we go, brother. Thank you for coming in on Abundant Life 6001 Ministries to Rome, where the city pastor is Abundant Life. Dr. Delta Joyce Alpha We worship on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Appreciate you, social media. God bless you, God keep you. And guess what? Make sure you find your battle buddy.